How's it going everyone? My name is Ryan Jersey. Welcome to the Deadly Tower of Monsters. I saw this game because I have PlayStation Plus. I'm like, I like it. I had monsters. I saw a girl, guy carrying, it's a robot carrying a girl. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to be saving her. I'm like, that'd be awesome. I love the damn one's distress thing where you have to save a girl. Hello, Dan Smith here. I directed this film back in, uh, well, it feels like a century ago. Really? Yeah. The studio asked me to provide a commentary track for the DVD release. And wham, straight into the action. No fluff or anything. That's what we did back then. Crash landed ship. Out pops our hero, the fearless Dick Starspeed. In which space explorer Dick Starspeed reaches the mysterious planet Gravoria. Uh -huh. The ship's velocity reactor is damaged. I believe that I am stranded on an alien planet. Played, of course, by actor Jonathan Digby. Went on to some minor roles after this. Uh, such a shame. I thought from day one this guy's got leading man written all over his face. What are these? Greetings, citizens of Gravoria. I am Dick Starspeed, and I come in peace. Probably shouldn't have had Dick draw his weapon when he was talking about peace. Well, maybe one day we'll go back and CG it into a sandwich or something instead. Ha! Ah, just kidding. Oh. And this is what people pay to see. A no-name middle-aged B-list actor duking it out with stuntmen in costumes. Such stunning choreography. Be able to pick a different the weapon. The in those robot suits really knew how to take a punch. Oh, literally. I told Jonathan not to hold back. Oh, Give it's it the health bar. Kick him in the nuts. And bolts. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. We handled it responsibly. We made them all sign waivers not to sue for injuries. Holy smokes! Dinosaur? If I land squarely on that grain silo, I should survive this fall unscathed. Well, I shouldn't say this now, but... You could actually see the strings if you squinted hard enough. I do not see him, actually. A screenwriting trick from back in the old days. You put a grain silo or some haystacks down and it solves all your gravity-related problems. What does this want me to do? I'm stuck. It appears some of my equipment was lost when my ship was shot down. But what luck. This high tech scanner reports that my ray gun is nearby. Ooh, gun. Ah, oh, the dinosaurs. You just don't see quality stop motion like this anymore. Oh, stop. that explains so much. There and move them frame by where's the T-Rex? Today, it'd be done with computers, but where's the artistry in that? I mean, it's kind of like the Indominus Rex. You, um, it, you had to get all the movements down. I mean, or like the first Jurassic Park. That was 12, I believe they said 12 hours of, oh, jeez, that scared me. sea monster, always patrolling the shore, eagerly awaiting for his next meal. here look a little plastic well it's because they are I took them from the set of my last film Vampire Island 2 we got our 
fair share of nasty letters from scientists complaining about our portrayal of the dinosaurs. Was news to me. Apparently, these stegosauruses weren't meat eaters. Must have preferred shellfish or something. Wow, how do they know? That's what I say. <laughs> Man. There needs to be like a T-Rex or something. <laughs> you probably know the evil white ape. As usual, the local population is defenseless. That's where our hero steps in and oh, saves wow, the day. Oh wow, one hit. Oh, running. What a vibrating. Jonathan through a lot shooting this film. He wasn't the best actor, especially when reacting to getting hit. <laughs> He's what you call a flincher. So I told the stuntman to really just go to town on him. It's the only way to get an honest performance sometimes. <laughs> Our props master tried to make the weapons soft, but there's only so much you can do. <coughs> How Lucky curious. for us, Dick's entire so body was covered in that spacesuit. That thing was a lifesaver when it came to hiding bruises. You'll notice the gold disappears when Dick touches it. We had a deleted scene that explained he's actually teleporting it back to his ship. It's funny, no one ever questioned how Dick was able to walk around with an infinite amount of gold on him. <laughs> We had to redo these shots. Our first attempt was uh, kind of a disaster. We tried using real apes, thought it'd cut down on the costume budget a bit. But have you ever tried working with apes? They are the worst actors ever. They don't sit still for a moment, and the second you take your eyes off of them, they're flinging their feces all over the place. Jonathan refused to work with him after he Wait, hold on. Him. Wampus? Well, let's, let, let's just say that he uh, had to take more than a couple of showers one day. You know, you never forget the smell of monkey poo. We steam cleaned the studio top to bottom. Still never got rid of it entirely. All through the rest of the shot, we kept finding those little surprises hiding inside various props. Boy, <laughs> what are those the days? <laughs> the great mega. Hey, what? Some really top notch stop motion effects, huh? Unfortunately, we skimped on the Dick Star Speed puppet a little. Oh my god. What? Woman? The Earth Man is not for you to eat, fiend! Oh, this was groundbreaking. We had the woman rescuing the man for once. We were really ahead of our time with this scene, but you know, then again, I've always been rather progressive. The studio execs didn't seem to get why it was such a big deal, though. Sorry, we don't see this as anything unusual. Ha! Of course! It's unusual! A woman would never save the man. It just doesn't happen. Not in the movies, not in real life. Oh boy. I don't know why we didn't get more recognition for this scene. Uh, I guess I was just a little too ahead of my time. I hope you... Well, let's just stop this video for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this part. It's... I don't know if I'm going to get data. This is so stupid but awesome. I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.